Of the ages of people in this book are a guess. First, there is Sam, who is six and is a boy. He is a year older than S, which means S is five, but she acts like she recently turned four. So that means whenever somebody comes to the island, they should be five, which means that Lou will be five when he comes later into the story. Nat is a seven-year-old girl who is smart and quiet. Then there is Jack, who is eight years old. He is a boy and usually wears ripped pants. Evie is nine and she is a girl. In the book, they don't really explain much about her, but based on what happens and what she says, I... Th I'd say that she can be a bit demanding, selfish, and mean. Then there was Oz. He is 10 years old and, it, and is a boy. They basically, they said that he is basically a bigger version of Jack. June is an 11 year old girl who isn't explained, who wasn't explained much in the book either. But based on what happens in the book, I'd say she, I'd, I'd say she is kind and helpful. And then there was Ben. He is helpful and wise, but he can be a bit demanding. He is a 12 year old boy. Lastly is Jenny, she is the oldest at the age of 13, and she turns out to be the main character of this story. The setting of the story takes place on a small unknown island in the middle of the sea with nine orphans. The time is unknown, but we can tell that it's based in the 20th to 21st century because there was passenger airlines, boats, printed books, and basically anything on earth during this time. Some important events in this story are Ginny having to leave earlier than she thought and she decides to stay. Ginny finds a letter from a girl named Abigail Ellis about how much she wants to leave the island and how bored she is. Random things like the chickens not laying eggs well, the fog thinning out, and them not being able to catch any more fish, and the bees becoming more aggressive start happening on the island. Later, Ginny finds herself bleeding after searching for more letters from Abigail. As his bracelet gets lost, so S goes hunting for it on, on the mountain by in the rain by herself. Lou gets bit by a rattlesnake twice while following Ginny and the others to find S. And lastly, Ginny finally makes a decision to leave the island and go wherever the boat leads her. Ginny is a girl who lives on an island with eight other orphans, and every year the oldest child leaves and a new one arrives, keeping the population at nine. There's a rhyme that goes, nine on an island, orphans all anymore, and the sky might fall. When Ginny becomes the new elder after her best friend Dean leaves, she has to take care of a young girl named S. However, Ginny has to leave earlier than expected. She decides to stay and take care of S since she thought she wasn't ready for living on the island by herself. The new kid Lou arrived at the island and Ginny decided to keep him instead of handing her, him over to the next elder, Ben. A few days later, Ginny also discovers a letter from a girl named Abigail Ellis. She was already known since she wrote in every book a comment. The note was to her mom and it was about how much she wanted to leave and how boring the island was, but Ginny kept it a secret. It isn't really an important part of the story, but it seemed important to add to the summary. How anyways, things, start ma things randomly start around the island, such as the chickens not laying eggs well, them not being able to catch any fish after catching an ink fish, the bees becoming aggressive, and th the fog thinning out. On laundry day, everyone is in the ocean swimming when Ginny hits Lou in the face out of anger from, ripping, from him ripping a leg off a starfish, and she runs away. She goes into the library and searches for another letter from Abigail, and she had no luck. But as she finished looking, she was bleeding a lot in a lot of different places. She didn't ask for help. At that, mo at that moment, she realized everything, and everything connected in her head. The chickens, the bees, the fog, the bleeding, everything, it was all her fault, and she was just afraid to say it. So she acted like everything was normal just to get her way. And then the next day, Esther's bracelet was lost after she gave it to Ginny, and Esther was mad. She climbed the mountain alone in the rain to find it, and she couldn't get down by herself. Ginny left Lou with Ben, June, and Sam to watch over him. Sadly, he ran off by himself into the tall grass and got bit by a rattlesnake twice. 
The genie ran back into back to the cabins, leaving S behind to guide herself home. And luckily, Lou was breathing. The next day, Ginny had enough of holding secrets and feeling bad about herself being wrong and causing the island to change, so Ginny decided to leave with Lou back to where he came from and confess everything she knew about what was happening, knowing that if she leaves, the island would go back to normal. My favorite part of this story is when Ginny leaves. I know that may sound wrong and you may be asking why. My reason is that you have been waiting for her to realize everything and finally fix the island for 100 pages. This book may be kind of long, but it can get interesting with twists and turns. Overall, I rated an 8.5 out of 10, and I would definitely recommend this book to you. Also, this book is a fourth fantasy fiction, but the rest is realistic fiction with a tiny bit of mystery mixed in. So, if you like some magical stuff like a boat that randomly comes to an island one specific day every year, that boat, that boat being able to control itself and understand what you're doing and react, and when you jump off a cliff, the wind pushes you back, letting you temporarily float in the air, and you land safely, then this book is for you. setting of the story takes place on a small, unknown island in the middle of the sea with nine orphans. The time is unknown, but we can tell it is based in the... The setting of the story takes place on a small, unknown... <coughs> Some important events in this story are Ginny got Ginny Ginny What? Some important events in this story are Moira and Wait, the light changed. at the island how did I how did I create who arrived on the island that isn't there Ginny is a girl who lives on an yeah I ate my breakfast Keeping the population at nine. There's a rhyme that goes nine on an iPhone. Nine on an iPhone. What? What? I. I. It's island. Wait. Is, is that? 